All right, so let's start this broadcast with some breaking inputs that have in fact just come in from Pakistan. Now, according to reports, at least about five Chinese nationals have been killed in what is being termed as a suicide attack in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. Now, according to the local security officials, the bomber rammed an explosive-laden vehicle into a convoy of Chinese engineers. It happened in the Besham city in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The Chinese engineers were reportedly on their way to Dasu from the capital city of Islamabad. Dasu is the site of a major dam that is under construction and the area has been attacked in the past as well. And to give us more updates in terms of what of course is happening at this point of time, we're being joined in by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik who's joining us live on this broadcast from Islamabad. Anas, what is the latest on this story? Well, the latest is that the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa police has confirmed that at least six people have been killed in what is uh, believed to be a vehicle born improvised explosive device. Uh, that is a VBID, a vehicle born suicide bomber, who, la who, who, who rammed his uh, explosive laden vehicle into the convoy of Chinese engineers that was moving from here in Islamabad, heading to Dasu, to the construction site of the Dasu hydro power, hydroelectrical power project, uh, uh, which has been under construction for quite a while. Now, this incident took place uh, in Bisham, in Shangla district of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Uh, one, of the, one of those who have been killed uh, is a Pakistani national, whereas the other five who have been killed are Chinese engineers. Uh, well, this has been confirmed by the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa police. Uh, while we await more word from the Pakistani federal government and uh, the foreign ministry and the interior ministry, uh, but the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa police has confirmed that it is carrying out investigation. We've seen those pictures coming out. It is also pertinent to mention that uh, similar, uh, a similar attack took place on, an en on engineers heading again from Slava to Dasu in 2021 June as well, uh, in which at least 13, one, three, 13 Chinese engineers were killed previously. Saleh? Absolutely, Enes. And also the fact that this is not the first time that Chinese nationals have been targeted in this manner, in, in this specific region. There have been incidents in the past as well. Why is the Chinese presence so not appreciated by people, the localites within this region? Well, particularly in this very region, uh, which you're talking about, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, uh, that has not been restive to uh, the Chinese presence or the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor related projects. And so is the Dasu Hydro Power Project as well, uh, uh, the Dasu Dam Project uh, under which it is con construction as well, under this very China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. That being said, uh, previously when we saw a similar nature of the attack on a similar convoy, that was claimed by the tehreek taliban Pakistan uh, or a faction of the tehreek taliban Pakistan, the Jamaat al ahrar group or the Mohammed group as they would say. So, uh, I mean, it would be really interesting to see as to what which group uh, goes on to claim responsibility because primarily very near to Bisham or just adjacent to the mountains uh, is uh, uh, the border of Afghanistan, our areas of Afghanistan as well. So it would be interesting to see as to which group goes on to claim responsibility because remember the Baloch militants or the rest of Baloch militants who are historically in parts of Balochistan have not been able to penetrate uh, onto other sides of the country or other provinces of the country. That being said, they did go into a consortium uh, with the Tehreek Taliban and came up with the with a new terror outfit called the Tehreek Jihad Pakistan, the TJP, which has been claiming a number of attacks. And we're seeing that this some the, this is some sort of a collusion between the TTP and the Baloch Liberation Army or Baloch Pak terror groups. So it would be really interesting, as I said, to see which group will claim responsibility, which group is behind it, only then the motive will be clear. Saleh? Absolutely indeed, Anas. Thank you very much indeed for joining us and getting us all those updates. We'll of course come back to you as more details emerge in the story. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.